everybody video here for you today now one of my last ancient america videos i had a comment do you have an ancient america video from every state and that was a good question i think i have about 42 or 43 covered so over the next week or two i'll be covering the states that i have not talked about if you live in kansas nebraska maine new hampshire rhode island delaware i think there's just one or two others and you know of a good ancient america place send me a message give me a comment but today we're going to talk about maryland we're going to go down to a place today called pig point some pretty cool finds were made right down here this is pig point right down here in the patungsit river about 10 years ago somebody was doing work a home down here digging down in the ground known as artifacts realized that they were pretty important called in professionals work was done here about nine years ago starting let's just read i will leave a few websites below here's one a maryland hills prehistoric secret this story is written about seven years ago a discovery made about 10 years ago the site sits about 30 miles south of baltimore and 15 miles east of washington dc says for weeks al luckenbach puzzled over the bones surfacing in the pit atop the Tungsuk river bluff here they were hard to identify fragments and shattered splinters unlike the intact animal bones heaped in a nearly 9,000 year old fee site down the hill and it seems like this whole point was occupied over many thousands of years they found different things in different layers the bottom layer goes back between nine and ten thousand years ago here are a few of the artifacts pulled out from the excavation here it says the scrape of the trowel tip uncovered a human tooth in the dirt among crushed pottery and broken spearheads two more followed and a starting startling realization emerged with them the bones on the hilltop were human with marks suggesting they were deliberately smashed as part of a prehistoric ritual since that discovery last year that spot known as pig point has become a tantalizing window into prehistoric gatherings on the hilltop thousands of years ago while burial sites are relatively common ancient ceremonial sites as deep and well preserved as the one believed to be a top pig point are extremely unusual here it says the third season a closing pig point here is an excavation pit it says al digs through the deep sandy soils looking for stratigraphic change notice the dark woodland period horizons above the sandy archaic levels below so really this is just a layering of time here in history up above they found things from 500 700 years ago deeper deeper 5000 and then all the way down here at the bottom seems like the earliest occupation was almost 10000 years ago here is some of the mapping they did a big circular area here used as a mortuary center that's what they think evidence of other occupations down here in this area a lot of artifacts found in fact almost a half a million I believe this link below it says archaeology site at Pig Point continues to yield ancient treasures the lab at historic London town and gardens provides the tools and space to sort through the finds you got over half a million artifacts well it's going to take some time to determine what they all are there was big shark teeth found here they think they might have been using those as cutting tools but a lot of volunteers a lot of archaeologists worked on this project about nine ten years ago did it for a few seasons here they are here are some of the tools they found here i believe these are deer bones worked into tools we'll work on the artifacts not sure what that is here's pieces of different artifacts they found that covered really about eight thousand nine thousand years of history here's what is described as a very small vessel coming from the site here right here here's a virtual animation of that small vessel found a pig point really small item here here is some more looks from the site and this is like many places in ancient america it seems human occupation covered many thousands of years and started maybe as early as ten thousand years ago it says recently retired county archaeologist al luckenbach inspects a small stone tool uncovered at the bottom of a seven foot deep trench at pig point here he is holding up a partially reconstructed vessel more looks here he is in a trench more work at the site but now i'm going to play just a few news clips here get a little better look at the story here from pig point 
When the owner of this property started laying an underground pipe, he knew he had stumbled across artifacts of historical significance. That's why William Brown asked archaeologists to come dig on his land. For the last three years, they have unearthed some of Maryland's greatest treasures. Well, we're screening for artifacts, or hopefully we find some. This uh, soil came out of a very deep pit, and, um, very old. We're not sure if it was a cultural, if the pit was made by people, or could it be a tree fall or some old animal burrow? Well, after we get through the colonial layers from the 1600s and the 1700s, we start finding uh, the dark, rich midden, the refuse from Indian campsites, uh, probably in the 1500s AD. We find pottery, we find bone tools, we find arrowheads, uh, we, we find the food remains that they were eating. Of course, being on a swamp, we're finding uh, beaver and otter and ducks and, and of course a lot of deer. And, and we're learning what life was like in the past here. But the deeper we go, we get back to earlier eras. We get back before pottery. Uh, we start finding spear points from uh, 5,000 years ago, 8,000 years ago, 10,000 years ago. Here are some slate gorgets that were found at the site, broken intentionally. It says the ritual killing of slate gorgets at Pig Point. And here, Al Luckenbach talks about the ritual killing of these Human artifacts. bones that were deliberately smashed, perhaps as part of a prehistoric ritual. They were taking these fancy artifacts from Ohio, like large spear points and large stone pipes, smashing them to smithereens and flinging them into the pit. They were also taking human bones, but just long bones and skulls. We don't have the trunks of the body. <laughs> and they were smashing them and throwing them into the pit. Now in its fifth year of excavation, the pig point dig has yielded pipes, exotic spearheads, and 3,000-year-old wigwams. Carbon dating shows that people inhabited the area more than 9,000 years ago. We realized that much of the, what we were finding on the other side of the road was related to the fact that this was a ritual hilltop. We found structures in the same place for 3,000 years. We found feasting behavior and fire pits in the same place for 3,000 years. So at the moment, we suspect that the top of the hill was ritual central for as long as three millennia. Archaeologists say restoring the artifacts is like putting a puzzle together with missing pieces and no picture to guide you. They'd smashed these quartz blades and gathered up the pieces, or nearly all the pieces, put them in what looked like a bag and deposited them right next to this ritual pit. We don't actually know whether they were releasing the spirits of honored ancestors or whether they were smashing these bones because they were hated enemies and they didn't want them returning from the afterlife. Luckenbach says piecing together the story behind the latest ceremonial site could be a mystery that's never solved. Tools and other artifacts have been buried by fresh deposits of soil, most likely washed down from a higher elevation. The result is a continuous record, with the most recent occupations at the top of the pit and the oldest at the bottom. This wigwam that William Brown, the owner, built, uh, it's the exact same dimensions as the post holes that we found here that the wigwams would have been. Uh, the saplings that are the supports here are also the exact same dimensions. Um, so it's really authentic. We used all kinds of literature to do it properly. Um, there's a fish drying rack out back. Uh, we looked at literature from North Carolina Algonquin tribes to do it all properly. And the contents of the pit included spear points and flakes from rocks and broken rocks from hearths, but also animal bone and fish bone, freshwater mussel shell, the fish we managed to identify as white perch and yellow perch. We found charred hickory nuts. But if you think about that, here's, you know, 8,500 years ago and they're getting yellow perch and white perch. That's the same sort of stuff. You can still get hickory nuts around here and you can still get the freshwater mussels. Last month, archaeologists learned from carbon dating that a stone hearth they recently uncovered was last used nearly 9,300 years ago. That is a video on the Pig Point site in Maryland here. Seems humans have been living on this point for about 10,000 years. But that was an interesting one to do. Some places in ancient America are very ancient. 
that is a video, my first one coming from Maryland, I think. Hope thought that was cool, and you all have a very nice day.